Well, hello friends, stitching neighbors. Uh, so I wanted to put an, a new video out. I had a request uh, to show what my sewing room looks like. Um, and uh, I had to wait until we arrived and I got my sewing space set up before I could do that. We are in um, Evansville, Indiana. Um, and I just got my sewing space set up. The husband is off uh, helping out family and I have a quiet day to myself. And so I am preparing to get started on a new project. Um, I have this lovely set of coffee um, prints and some background. Hopefully that's enough. I haven't measured it yet. Uh, and I'm gonna work on this uh, pattern. So uh, I'm gonna do that, get that started. And then I also have some towels that I'm going to embroider for my daughter-in-law, Stephanie, who is uh, very into Pyrex dishes. She collects those. Um, and she has a very large and lovely set. Um, and uh, so I have some Pyrex um, embroidery designs that I'm going to add to these towels. Um, I have not yet set up my embroidery hoop and gotten all my supplies down, but um, I wanted to do this video before I destroy the sewing room. So one thing I want to say about um, living in an RV and traveling full time, um, my husband and I are both retired. Uh, we both have been lucky enough to retire early. And um, so we travel uh, 365, right? So we are essentially snowbirds. We go uh, south in the winter and uh, move further up north in the summer. Uh, our family is pretty spread out across the United States. And so we tend to travel uh, back and forth to family here and there and yonder. And um, so we, we live here full time. Everything we own is with us. Um, we do not have a, a house or domicile uh, to, to go back to, no permanent land or anything like that. And so um, uh, everything we have is with us. We, we um, live small, um, but we uh, live free. So that's all important. Um, for those stitchers out there, I know that many of you have a lot of storage of fabric and you know you don't know what you would do in this space and so I thought I would just share with you how we do things um, I have a very adequate sewing space my my uh, rig has a is a toy it's a toy hauler and so if you don't know what that is it is a section in the back of the rig uh, that you would store a motorcycle or an ATV or golf cart or something of that nature and um, instead we use it as my sewing space. So I have a lovely deck out the back with these uh, three season doors that have either glass or screen um, and I can get a good airflow back here, uh, lots of natural light. Um, and the room, is, it's a 13 foot garage. Um, and so it's uh, 13 uh, long and what, eight wide. Um, so it's about the size of a small bedroom. Um, uh, it, it, it can be challenging um, because you have to make sure you have everything picked up and put away and stashed before you travel. And some of the outdoor things like the grill and everything has to come inside when we travel. But um, we have managed to get things organized in a, in a fashion that it makes it easy on uh, travel days uh, to pull in what we need to, latch it down, uh, move on down the road, and then when we arrive, uh, move out what I don't need and set up my sewing room. So it just takes me a couple hours to, to get those things done and then I'm ready to sew. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I did another little video I'm gonna attach here that um, shows off uh, my sewing setup um, or at least the clean version of my sewing setup. Maybe sometime I'll show you what the crazy version looks like. Uh, in previous videos, uh, I showed a little bit of it and you can tell I'm on this side or that side of the room and I've got tables set up. And um, so those are the more messy, messy sorts of things. Um, we just got this storage cabinet installed for my fabric 
here this last week. And so uh, I have rearranged the room and I like this setup very well. You'll see what it looks like here in a moment. But um, anyway, I'm going to uh, let you go and I'm gonna get started on my projects. Uh, I've got a couple of weeks uh, that we are here in Indiana. And um, so I'm happy to have some quiet sewing time. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day and happy stitching. See you guys. Hi everyone, welcome to my sewing room. So I had received a request to uh, show what my sewing room was like in my RV. And so I'm going to give you a little tour. Uh, I am standing on my back patio because we have a toy hauler. I have um, a patio out the back it's the ramp door that if you had an ATV or a motorcycle or something that you stored back here and hauled around in your rig with you, uh, you would drive it up this uh, ramp. Um, however, it also is a deck with railings and uh, that sort of thing. And so in our case, because this room is my sewing room, uh, we uh, just use it as a deck and to store things such as the ladder and the fire pit and the barbecue grill. Things that um, that uh, need to go inside on travel day, um, but when we arrive at our destination, I kick them out the door and then I have my sewing room back. And so we'll do a little tour. These are three season doors here and I have put my little quilt block stickers on them. Um, I have a Martelli table that uh, is adjustable in height, and so it goes up and down based on what I'm doing. I can stand or sit. Um, I have a um, Luminaire 3, or I'm sorry, a Luminaire 2 Brother Machine uh, that does embroidery and sewing, uh, depending upon what I'm working on. Um, uh, uh, attached to that, I have a light uh, that gives me extra light when the ramp doors are closed. It does tend to be sort of dark in here. Um, when the ramp doors open, of course, I have lots of lovely uh, natural light. Um, and then over in the back, I have a new cabinet we just purchased from Ikea. It's metal, uh, like sort of like lockers, um, and that is my fabric storage. Um, I don't have a ton of stash. I tend to kit up my work, uh, or kit up my projects as I buy fabric, and I tend to go to fabric stores in nearly every location that we travel to, um, but I tend to also kit it up so that uh, when I wanna work on something, I've only got a week or two, I can uh, go through my cabinet, find a kit of something that I've got prepared, uh, fabric with a pattern that I wanna do, and I'll pull it out and go ahead and get started. Um, I have a good, comfortable chair that, uh, I am able to sort of adjust uh, to my table uh, for the most part, um, depending upon what I'm working on. I also have a little stool over on this side that I can move over into my space if I need to do that. Um, my dog has his sofa bed because his comfort is, of course, required. <laughs> um, when it's not in use, I just set it up. Uh, I have a ladder because I am short. I am only five foot two. And so everything in this rig pretty much is out of my reach and I have to have a ladder to get to half the things in here. Uh, I have this uh, fold up uh, storage footstool or ottoman that I got from Amazon. And uh, it contains all of the uh, miscellaneous things uh, that I need to sew. Um, you know, everybody's got a little basket. You've got all this stuff in the basket and, you know, all of your little handy things. So anyway, I have a bunch of stuff in there, some random miscellaneous things, um, and stuff that I am currently working on often goes in there. I have two fold-up tables that I can set up and cover this whole wall pretty much, uh, with table space when I'm working on a project. Um, so that gives me a lot of room to work. I hang some of my most used um, rulers on the wall, uh, and I do tend to keep a, oh, I'm already in June. I don't know how that happened. We're still in May. Uh, anyway, I, can, I keep a um, uh, calendar on the wall, and um, 
Then of course I have an exit door here on this side, lots of good lighting. Uh, we also in this rig have a side patio. Uh, most rigs do not have this. Uh, this is something that um, we got. I have an Alliance uh, Valor 42V13 is the model of our rig. Um, it is almost two years old, uh, or a year and a half old, but um, uh, we like it, we've made it ours. Um, up here, I have two storage containers up here. On this side, I have all of my thread, uh, embroidery thread, sewing thread, uh, other rulers and templates, those sorts of things, all boxed up. And on this side, I have hand embroidery thread, um, uh, handwork projects because I do a lot of handwork when I'm uh, traveling on travel days um, uh, or if we are on short stays or long hauls and we you know I don't have time to set up my sewing space and then of course the required vacuum and brooms up here we have uh, two bunks so a toy hauler generally has these um, bunks on, you know in the in the toy space uh, for extra bedding right so extra places for people to sleep these rigs will sleep I don't know six or eight you know people it's for us it's just two because you know this is really our home on wheels and and uh, we are full-time so 24 7 365 this is where we live uh, wherever we have it parked at but anyway up here on top I have some stuff stored um, I keep my batting up there if I have uh, purchased batting for projects. Um, I have my embroidery uh, stabilizer, uh, other stabilizers and stuff that I, you know, don't use all that, all that often. They're not very heavy, but they're sort of large and bulky. So that stuff's up there. And then some of my husband's uh, stuff is up there. So anyway, that is my sewing room. This is my view currently. Um, we get a lovely western sunset in this location, and you can see out over the lakes. Uh, we are in Evansville, Indiana at the time. And um, so, what do you think of my sewing space? <laughs>